Oh god. Oh god. I'm an AD carry. Please help me, O Zeus of Olympus. What's your coming? Oh, oh boy. So, I didn't get to be jungle this game because, you know, everyone's been locking in Master Yi and Zin Zhao because Feral Flare. So, I don't even have runes prepared for this. I just use my jungle runes, which are pure attack damage. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't have life steal. And my masteries. I had no idea what I actually did. I won like 25 and 5. I don't know if that's kind of what you're supposed to do. But I'm AD carry now. Not much is going to happen down bottom lane, but fun fact, I actually do have a few other AD carry games uploaded. Mostly gra Graves, because it's kind of like I gravitate towards man champions. Though another fun fact, if you didn't know, Varus was made in a design in a response to all the whole, you know, only women are sexualized. Because, I don't know, Riot has like three different models for men, body models, that they kind of just build stuff around it. And they have only one for women, which is the, and they use it for every single character and whatever. Varus, on the other hand, he was completely remade. It was a feminine male sort of thing. He was sexualized for women's. Also, here Zin Zhao comes in for a gank. Fucking fuck you, Sona, and then go on and kill Kayla. By the way, this is a time where Barrier and Heal was released. So, the fact that I don't have either one of those just tells you how little I paid attention to the champion select screen. I was more like, oh god, than uh, actually trying to you know build myself appropriately. But it worked out, not as well as I had hoped, but it worked out. So, buy, go home, buy Vampire Acceptor, buy a long sword, and even a mana potion, just because I want to keep shooting the shit out of these people and not running out of mana. So, uh, I can't really give you much advice on being to carry, except, you know, try not to die and use shift clicked, which I will probably fail at soon, and you'll see. Kind of anyway, hooray for me as to carry. And pray, though, of course, the game already happened, but if it ever happens again where you watch me on stream and I'm playing AD Carry, fucking pray. Like, pray, like, no tomorrow. I don't know pretty much anything about being an AD Carry anymore. It's like, I know damage, and I know, I guess, being a support, but I fuck if I know how much, uh... I know about positioning or anything as an AD carry. I just assume, you know, I'm gonna die at every step in the way. And sometimes I forget I am a soft, delicious body and I will be blown up. You will see that in this game and you'll be like, why the fuck are you doing that, Stonewall? And, you know, you'll face ball. So, as I was saying, uh, Varus was actually a character made to sexualize men for women because the complaints about only women being sexualized were high. Uh, if you were to say, oh, but what about Pantheon and Cassidy and Trinibir? I'll never have his, their six packs or anything. But you forget, it's pretty much male fan. Oh, yeah, Zed comes in if we fuck up Caitlyn. Anyways, because it's all male fantasy. It's not Trinomir to, uh, Trinomir and Cassidy aren't there for you to be like gawking at him and be like, uh, oh my god, they're so hot. It's like, oh, that's who I want to be, man. I want to be him. I want to have those abs. It's like that. That's kind of how they're portrayed, really. It's like when you look at Trinomir, you're not like, fuck, my dick is hard or my vagina is wet. You're like, oh, man, he's fucking scary. He'll fucking break me in two or something. It's like it goes through a different effect. With the female characters, it's like, damn, bitch is fine. She got that ass or something. I don't know. I don't know. Sexism aside with those jokes, it is kind of something that, it's been discussed a lot with League and video games in general. Male fantasy, everyone. So Varus is just, uh, I, I think, I don't know if they remade a model for him or they just used a feminine model, but you can see. Look at every other male character. Varus is tiny and frail and uh, he's, ma he's basically naked. And he's that kind of, you know, swimsuit male model kind of thing. Uh, going about him. Everybody else is like a bodybuilder or some ma macho kind of thing. But... No, so like Varys has got that, I don't know what's his face, Ashton Kutcher thing going for him. But he's also very, you know, uh, dramatic and stuff. And like, uh, it's like, I, so my suffering is there. You can't change me, my doom, whatever. I don't know, that kind of stuff that a lot, the, uh, they stereotype that women like in men. Anyways, to further exemplify this, the different type of body, uh, the, the different body types for male models are this, a Hulk which is like Mundo, whatever, that kind of stuff. I think Mundo's Hulk. Monster, which is obviously gigantic freakish things, like, I guess, Renekton. And Athletic, 
which is uses sin just as a kind of the base build and it's essentially skinny guys or something that are not overly buff i don't know who would fall into it but i i'm guessing champions like graves maybe anyways i know i'm ranting about something completely not in the game but this is a lane phase nothing happens except you know me initiating like a dumb fuck and then dying for it but then since out coming in and picking up every all the kills this butt blasting sona then going right on caitlin and saying fuck you caitlin and she dies by like i don't know like fire from lizard but yeah, the early game, nothing fucking happens. And you can see that this game is like 19 minutes. Or I mean, the video is like 19, almost 20 minutes. So like, yeah, I'm just kind of filling in time until that also like uh, the mid game happens. Where shit will actually occur. And it will be much more interesting than seeing me suck at last hitting. Fun fact, though, is that the Kalen also seems to suck. So it's a universal suckage here. For having, you know, three women and one very feminine character, it is kind of okay for her to be stuck at you. anyways so here the caitlin tries to go to the dragon she thinks i was gonna go there so i just kind of shoot the shit out of her and I, I think she was waiting for me to use my ultimate so i waited to the last second to use it where it'd be pretty much point blank and he quickly initiated it and have a little reaction time and also so she'd you know be hesitant to use her summoner spells and i get free shots in she honestly should have used her flash or e if she had it a lot sooner because i guess kind of rammed her so anyhow i bought myself bloodthirster i had no idea what to buy i was asking on my stream yo what the hell do i buy do i build bloodthirster infinity age on varus i used to play varus sometimes when i was forced into in season two and three oh, wait, it wasn't in season two i don't know i play it whenever i play it and you can look up my past videos and you'll see some clips with varus i think it was season two yeah when I did play him, I would play him mid, and I would play him bot, and I would build things like Bloodthir uh, Bloodthirster, Static Shiv, and like Hydra. I mean, not, I mean not Hydra. Hurricane, there we go. That's an awful item. Hydra's dumb. And I would even play AP Varus, and that was fun as shit. It was hilarious, but ultimately terrible. So... It's just, I was winging it. It was like, last whisper this early, I'm not sure. They're not exactly building armor. And I mean, Amumu is, and everybody else kind of isn't yet. They will eventually, because I'm pretty damn sure they were going to get a Zanya's ring. I mean, not Zanya's ring, Zanya's eyeglass. I know, I keep saying Zanya's ring, but it's just a force of habit. You know what I'm saying. Anyhow, Amumu catches me here, and... God damn it, I don't shift-clicked. Fucking shift-clicking. How does that work? So you see, you fucking shift click. I suck dick at shift clicking as an AD carry. It's like when I'm melee or like Zin Zhao, it's like it's I'm fine. But when I'm playing an AD carry, holy shit, does my you know clicking go from okay to awful? Holy fuck, I should have killed that Amumu. Probably should have used that uh, flash a lot more intelligently as well. But anyways, here Caitlyn flashes forward for some reason with no other escapes in mind and pretty much gets herself killed for free. It was kind of funny and, you know, with all due respect, pretty dumb too. So here I give chase to a Moomoo and my shift clicking is pretty bad too, but I don't even think if, even if I had hit him the two times I could have, it would have made a difference. Anyways, of course we see your tower because we got to create poke right now with me and the Zed. And the enemy team's already burned most of their engagements, so no one gives a crap. Yeah, Amumu kind of just... I don't know why they just decided to go around in a circle instead of taking some free damage. But I don't care. Here, the Xin Zhao tried to get all the gold, and I was thankful, you know, to Zeus that I was able to steal some of it. Or secure some of it. Oh, that was just me dropping my medicine. Nonetheless, the next item I'm building, I forgot what it was. I think Infinity Edge, because I figured, you know what? I'm not actually doing as much damage as I hope for. Am I do, doing AD carry stuff appropriately? Or is it something else going wrong? Or should I just hit them three times? But uh, nonetheless, uh, the AD carry I actually used a lot before when I was forced to AD, uh, be AD carry. And, and to be honest, it wasn't my worst role. My worst role was top lane. The, the, the AD carries I would use were Graves, Ash, and Varus. Graves, because he played a lot like a bruiser, and, you know, I could play him kind of recklessly. Ash and uh, Varus, because of utility purposes, because, you know, honestly, if I'm going to play an AD carry and suck at positioning, I might as well have utility to help, you know, do something in case I'm about to die, or am dying, or already died. 
In this case, I just throw my ultimate, and if it's a good ultimate, I guess it can be considered a win regardless. Like in this case right now, like uh, they, they sort of try to engage. We push back the minions, and Zed is like fiddling down bottom, or was, and then he gets gunned down. But that pretty much puts the enemy team out of position, or I mean, away from each other. And we get ourselves a free tower. And this is a terrible ultimate, as I was trying to allude to, but kind of couldn't get to it. Uh, 80 carry stolen more, yay. Xin Zhao engages, I shoot my arrow, and then, I don't know, Jace is trying to get Xin Zhao killed. I just kind of shoot whatever's close to me. I don't manage to kill anybody. I feel bad. Uh, the Mumu does die. I don't, wait, now I actually do kill somebody. I gun down Sona with arrows. And then Caitlyn's just like in a weird position and just kind of out of place and just sniped in the brain, spinal cord or whatever. And the rest of my team gives chase to Orianna instead of, you know, probably pushing alongside me. But I didn't have minions anyway, so who cares? I abandoned that cause. Anyways, I know I could go on another little, ridiculous little tangent. As far as, uh, oh, oh, actually, no, I shouldn't. Here, here's just me being stupid. I fucking knew, I fucking knew Chase was there. It was like jungling 101. Like, when someone goes into the bush, they're going to use line of sight to kill you. I have no idea why my brain shut off right there. But that was ridiculously stupid of me. And hell, I didn't even try to kite him or anything. So even even more stupid. Ugh. Don't make me AD carry. I go full on idiot, so... Anyways, as far as the sexuality thing goes, I can't really say much because I'm not a chick and I don't know how annoying it may be to see every chick be, uh, you know, a really, really, you know, hot chick or whatever. And I've complained before about, oh my God, we don't have any uglier, we, Bright doesn't release ugly, uh, ugly, yeah. sorry, ugly creatures anymore, but we've got hideous monstrosities like Trundle and Urga. But if you look at all the female characters, the ugliest character they have is probably Poppy, but she's going to get a visual update at some point. I bet your ass they're going to make her a lot more attractive as a result. I mean, if you look at all the fan art and all the Chinese splash arts, she's pretty much looking like some kind of uh, older Tristana. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, that was a phone ring. I don't know if you heard of that, but... So, let... Anyhow, I'm shooting people down. I'm getting this blue buff. I'm doing things. Ah, uh, fuck you, wolves. I'm gunning you down. That's a plane. I don't know. Uh, this game is boring to me because I don't know what the hell I'm, I can talk about. I hate Varus. I mean, I, wait, no, I love Varus. I love him so much, I'd go gay for him, and... Well, I mean, I don't know. But anyways, I hate being AD carry now. It's like, I hate being that guy that can die within two seconds and not do jack shit. And honestly, in this game, there's been certain instances where I'm like, holy fuck, I don't feel useful. In this one, I just used my ultimate and it hit a moo moo. And like, I shot a few things, but ultimately, I didn't feel like I did anything. I know, I know, AD carries contribute a lot, but personally, it's like, I like playing tanks and bruisers and shit and see seeing people and holding people down. It's like, I will pin your ass down and forcibly put this gigantic stone up your, you know, yeah, but ugh. it's like, give me Nautilus, give me Sejuani, give me Zack. I don't, I may not have noticeable damage numbers, but damn, do I feel like I'm actually doing something. It's sort of like, I'm that guy, like... It's like we're playing leapfrog, like you're distracting the guy in front and I'm run behind you, I mean behind the guy, and then you push him over and it's like, fuck yeah, teamwork, you're the one who used all the force to push him down, but I got I got behind him to give you that sort of, you know, uh, alt, I don't know, I forgot, altitude advantage or something, I'm just making shit up here. Like right here, holy crap, my positioning is terrible and I almost got myself caught by a moo moo, thankfully I had flash and positioned myself better. And I'm like, why am I so pathetic? Why am I cowardly when it comes to fighting? Fortunately, Zed is like fucking murdering everybody. So he's picking up my slack. Now, back to what I was saying. It's like when I'm playing AD Carry, it's just like I'm playing the most epic game of, you know, don't step on fucking lava. It's like I'm just trying not to die. It's like I'm not really concerned about my, you know, damage output. I'm like, just don't die. I end up dying anyways, and that's the sad fact. I mean, I kill one for one, but as an AD carry, that's not exactly worth it unless you kill their AD carry or something. 
So shit, that sucks. I'm I hate myself. Fortunately, the game seems to be going our way. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter because in the while I'm in the game, I'm like shit. This game can still go, you know, negatively. We're like, look, they just kind of died for standing there. It's like, dude, you're in enemy territory. You can't even see them coming. Why are you there? But, you know, that kind of results in them being able to take control of the Baron, or at least warding it and stuff. Anyways, I build Badgie's Veil, so it reduces my chances of dying like an idiot. But, you know, I'm Stonewall. That's not actually going to happen. I'm going to die again, or contribute very little as an AD carry. But fuck you guys. Man, I, I like at this point, I get discouraged because I'm like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I know I have items, but damn, is my damage low. And I know I'm shooting a tank, but I've been tanks before and I've been chunked the shit out of by AD carry. So I'm like, how do these guys do it? Are they wizards? So Renekton has like the most awkward initiation ever. And I have the most, you know, team fight, awkward team fight ever. I'm like, why the fuck am I melee range? Holy fuck, is my shift clicking that bad? I, uh, melee bears. This is like, I decided, you know what? Fuck these arrows. I'm gonna just take this quiver and bow and strike you with it. It's like, damn. I mean, I'd, I'd want to see, you know, an AD carry have like a short range melee animation where it's just like, uh, I don't know, Ash takes your arrow, just sh shanks somebody with it. Or and in the case of uh, Varus, he takes his laser bow and just kind of waves it around. I'm like, it would make sense for someone like, like, a Dar I mean, Draven, he has two giant knives at him and he just kind of slashes at people. It'd be kind of funny. And honestly, just imagining, you know, someone being shanked by an arrow is just hilarious. But as I said, you know, bad positions and everything, they can kind of turn this around. So they kill Zinzal, they kill Zed, and that means they're going for Baron. And I'm going to stop it. I definitely will stop it somehow, except not in this game because I'm going to, I'm an AD carry. If I was a jungler, maybe I would have been able to do something. But no, here instead, I just kind of sit back and watch them sodomize Baron. Fuck. So, as you can see, this game's pretty going on for a pretty fucking long time. So, you, you can imagine my dread here. When I was in the early game and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I have kills. I was hoping I'd win, you know, like early on. And it'd be like, you know, yay, I didn't fu do something to fuck everything up. But as you can see by my deaths and my general lack of, you know, direction, holy fuck am I getting, like, scared in the game. I'm just like, damn. I don't know if we're going to win or lose. I might as well build Sephir to reduce the chances of me getting CC locked for my own stupidity. Unfortunately, Xin Zhao gets CC locked and destroyed. So the same can't be said about my teammates, you know, being careful. Uh, so, yeah. The enemy team, while they are still behind us gold-wise, doesn't nece won't necessarily lose fights. Their jungler is fed up the ass. They're Oriana's utility, mostly, so it doesn't matter if she's, you know, dead all the time. Either Caitlyn is farmed, compared, like, farmed at least. Nonetheless, here comes a fight. Or what we want to consider a fight. Because it's mostly just poking and running around like headless chicken skin. But the case, go Renekton. Mighty, mighty Renekton. Uh, God damn it. You know, Varys' skins were disappointing, though. I mean, his new, uh, his, his new skin, though, is pretty fucking cool, but I'm pretty sure they could have done more with him. I mean, like, uh, the white skin is pretty lame. I, you know, fun fact, uh, not fun fact, like, weird fact. I don't know, know why they didn't just call Varys' uh, Arclight skin, you know, Justicar, because there's, like, a Justicar theme going around, and it's like, I'd assume that'd be something around those lines. So, fight happens. My ultimate miss is Oriana, because she uses Zanya's Gower glass, and then I'm, like, just... I'm shooting whoever the fuck is close to me, and we pretty much are able to actually win this. It's like, wow, it, it, it kind of, it just blew up. I don't even know what happened. I just kind of just shot at the first thing near me and pay attention to nothing else. So, with that in mind, we win. Hooray for us. Fuck everybody. Hooray. Yay. I don't have to play AD Carry anymore. At least until I'm last pick again. But hooray for AD Carry Stonewall. And Varys.